Today is April 22nd, 2019. Listen to Cheater Stories on Radio Public and Anchor FM. My ex-husband and I weren't even sleeping in the same room when I met my affair. Ex just wasn't interested in sex. And it was causing so many fights because I was so unsatisfied. I met my affair on WOW. I'm not sure what that is. It's an acronym for something. I don't know what it is. And we knew each other for about a year and had never flirted or anything like that. One day I found out that he had settlers of Catan and mozzarella sticks, dot, 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 and lived an hour and a half away. I hopped in the car and drove down and we hit it off really well. He didn't know I was married at the time. I really needed to get laid. It had been about six months at least. The affair never ended. Or I guess it officially ended when my divorce was finalized. He and I are married now and have been together for six years. Notice how she excused herself from the cheating. These excuses that people have for cheating are just, are lame. You can't go six months without sex. Was with the girl about four months, but she never showed much interest in me physically. So I started sleeping with a rather promiscuous coworker who had been with most of the male staff in the back of my car after work. Two months later, a girlfriend broke up with me for unrelated reasons and me and the coworker are living together happily. Hmm, okay. I was 20 and I was in a long distance relationship with a girl who I had issues with, but was by no means a girl worth cheating on. My ex convinced me she was bad for me and we ended up hooking up. So he ended up hooking up with his ex girlfriend found out broke up with me I got back with the ex I hooked up with 16 months and one house later find her fucking with her boss she walks out on me girl I cheated on forgives me and now we are back together the girl that convinced me to cheat on my girlfriend walks out on me because I caught her cheating irony at its finest I got married the summer before beginning grad school and at the time, I was already having second thoughts. Oh no. A year later, I went to field school for a month as part of my degree program, ending up stuck on an island with six other people and little outside contact. Oh my gosh, you guys already know. Just before disappearing, my wife and I got into a huge fight and weren't even talking when she dropped me off to leave the next morning. That's messed up. You don't do that. A week and a half in, one of my classmates and I realized how much we liked each other and how great we are together and I immediately decided I wanted a divorce. Came home, began the process, and moved in with my new girlfriend. We are now happily married three years later and have a beautiful baby boy. I do occasionally feel sorry for what I put my ex through, but we have since talked and both agree that we are much better off now. One or the other of us would have been perpetually unhappy if we had stayed together. Next one. It started with me ignoring my new co-worker that everyone wanted to get with. She later came out and said that was the day she knew she would fuck me. I had been with the same woman 10 years, married for four, and two young children. I had no intention of cheating. The first time I remember having any feelings towards her is when her baby daddy called in the middle of her shift and she laid into him. My wife is extremely passive. She never fought me on anything, ever. It was boring. So seeing this beautiful woman be aggressive turned me on. We became friends and within the month, I was spending all my free time with her. My wife and I had been having a rough year intimacy wise. And at one point, she told me to go get my dick wet and do what I needed, but don't fall in love. Ooh, okay. I have a great job now and new girl wants to move up here as soon as she graduates. I think the new girl is a side chick. I really thought I loved my wife, but nothing compares to the love I feel for the new one. It's almost unhealthy. I'd suffer so she never has to. It's been a wild year, and I don't think my wife and I would have been together forever, so better now than later, I guess. I just want to be happy. And as cliche as it is, the heart wants what the heart wants. I'm not proud of the way it happened, but I'm living in a great town with a great job now. And if new girl does end up moving, I think I will finally be truly happy. Well, it all started four years ago when we met at the fair. We hit it off instantly and talked for a while, but eventually it just sizzled out and we stopped talking. 
Fast forward a couple of years and I'm with my boyfriend of two and a half years. We have a one-year-old son and the guy randomly added me on Snapchat. We started talking, hang out, one thing led to another and we had sex. Two weeks later, I found out I have herpes and I gave it to my boyfriend. I confessed everything to my boyfriend and thankfully he stayed with me and now we're both being treated for herpes. I feel like the world's crappiest person. Knew a guy for six years. Always flirted, but assumed he was oblivious. We made plans on and off throughout college, him being in Navy, etc. They always fell through. Every time we would reconnect, I'd flirt a bit more. He messaged me when I had just started a new relationship. I flirted a bit, but didn't think anything would happen. The next thing I knew, he made plans to see each other and he showed up at my house. I figured I'd get him out of my system and that would be that, but I ended up falling for him carried it on for two months before he said he couldn't do it anymore. His morals were getting fucked up by the entire situation. So we decided to stop talking. I miss him. We left things pretty open-ended. If we both are single in the future, we should try out a relationship. My boyfriend at the time didn't deserve me cheating and he never found out. I don't have an excuse. 10 out of 10, wouldn't do it again. Was living with my girlfriend at uni. I guess university it just says uni was living with my girlfriend at uni towards the end of my degree okay yeah they were living together at college towards the end of my degree I had a field trip abroad and a good friend and I realized we maybe would have liked to be more than that got home said to my girlfriend that I wasn't sure things were working and I needed some time we had our finals to do and I didn't want to screw those up for her so I didn't dump her outright Meanwhile, the other girl and I got closer and a few things happened. Eventually, after our exams were done, I broke up with my girlfriend, adamantly denying there was someone else. Now, 12 years later, me and the other girl have been married for five years and my ex is married to a woman. Dated a girl in college. We got engaged, but only because I was scared of being alone. Wasn't happy and when the opportunity presented itself from a friend, we began sexting and sending pictures back and forth. Nothing physical, but emotional. And as soon as my fiance found out, she left. Her fiance, the other girl, the girl he cheated with, her fiance found out, but forgave her. And she's now happily married. Haven't heard from either since then. Okay, so the girl that he was cheating with, she had a fiance and he found out, but he forgave her. Now they're happily married. Okay, next story. My now ex-husband preferred computer games and porn over any kind of relationship with me or our children. I was starved for attention. At one point, I told my then husband that I'd give it six more months and if it wasn't better by then, it wasn't going to be. We were married for six years when I finally ended things. The guy I cheated with had hit on me for over a year. Finally, I gave in to it. We never had sex. It was mostly an emotional affair, which is almost worse. Two days after the other guy kissed me, I told my ex-husband that things weren't going to work out. It shouldn't have been the shock that it was to him. I felt so liberated. I cut it off with the person I cheated with shortly thereafter. He was also cheating on his wife, but I believe they're still together. Next one. I was married and really unhappy. I flirted with a couple of our friends jokingly at first but more seriously as time went on after a while i asked my husband if i could sleep with him and he told me i could do whatever i wanted just don't tell him about it since this was obviously passive aggressiveness i waited around a month and asked again to make sure the answer wouldn't change when i asked again he said the same thing i decided i didn't care enough at this point to not just take it at face value so i ended up telling the guy i was flirting with and we had sex Anyway, my marriage ended. Me and the other guy have been together for about two years now, and I'm a lot happier than I was before. So I guess it all turned out pretty well. Next one. My relationship was ending when I met him. We became good friends and told each other all about how messed up our current relationships were. The night it went too far was after drinks, a kiss in a bar, and a DUI. I bailed him out. After we slept together the first few times, I ended things with my boyfriend. He always said he was going to break up with his girlfriend, and he never did. Long story short, it was months and months of him telling me he wanted to be with me and loved me, and months and months of him not doing anything about his current situation. When he finally did break up with her, he stayed with me 
for a few weeks and things were great. Then in a company-wide meeting with other co-workers there, he texted me to tell me he was getting back together with her. A year and a half later, I am married to someone else and they are still together. I was in a lesbian relationship for a while. We had been dating for three years and had slowly drifted away from each other in that time. I started talking to this guy that I've always wanted to be friends. One thing led to another and I ended up sleeping with him. The night I slept with him, I went home and immediately told my girlfriend and broke it off with her. Eventually, I started dating the guy I slept with and now we're getting married in August. I'm still very good friends with my ex-girlfriend. However, it did take us a while to get back to the friendship stage. My ex-fiance and I had just moved to Kansas so that he could be closer to his family because he had moved to where I was going to school and hated it. I left behind scholarships and transfer colleges at his request. When we got to Kansas, nothing improved. The mismatch of our libidos made everything worse. So I started looking on Tinder. I met a guy for what I thought was a fuck date. He ended up being everything I felt I was missing in my relationship. I kept going back for two weeks. Every day, the sex was amazing. Before I realized it wasn't going to stop and I had to end things with my fiance. I broke up with him but never told him I cheated. We're both so much better off now. He married one of his exes and is really happy. They're perfect for each other. The guy I cheated on him with is my now husband and we're expecting a baby girl this month. Been on both sides of the coin. First time when I cheated, I was dating a great girl for nine months at the end of high school into college and we were both selling smooth. We ended up going on separate family vacations and spent about a month away from each other with little communication due to time zone differences. In the time we were separated, she decided that she was ready to move on to the next stage, moving in slash sleeping together. I had just gotten out of an abusive relationship and was not as open to the idea. It started to scare me a bit and then I started rethinking our whole relationship. It started seeming too perfect for me and I ended up confiding in her best friend. First started out as advice, turned to more, until I ended up sleeping with her best friend on multiple occasions. We eventually told her after she had a pregnancy scare and it destroyed her. I ended up trying to date the best friend, but all we had was sexual compatibility and not much more than that. Next story. I had a friend with benefits who wanted something more, but I just didn't at the time. Then some new girl started messaging me and I started to really dig her and left the friend with benefits to pursue the new girl. The new girl was a little possessive and wouldn't even kiss me unless I made her my girlfriend. I eventually asked her out and we started dating. We obvious, She obviously wasn't putting out yet, so I just hit up my friend with benefits again and we fucked probably for like a month or two. I stopped cheating once me and the new girl started to have sex. A couple months later, the friend with benefits told my girlfriend because she couldn't deal with the guilt. Girlfriend was extremely pissed, but ultimately forgave me. Haven't cheated since, and I do realize what I did was fucked up. About a year and a half later, I think I'm realizing that I was just too afraid to love my friend with benefits. And it's way too late to reverse anything. This whole experience really has changed how I view relationships and sex. <sighs> Dated for two years in college. She graduated early and left. We'd always had issues and fought a lot. She was head over heels for me, but I'll be honest, I didn't feel the same for her. Plus we fought a lot, as I mentioned. Girl had a temper. Anyway, it's my birthday and she's away. And of course, we had fought all that week. She grudgingly wished me a happy birthday. I went out with friends and hooked up with a friend my other friend invites. She slept over, but we didn't have sex. Next day, I told her what happened. She was livid. Next month was pure hell, and eventually after a month, I realized I couldn't deal with it anymore and left her. I've been with the other girl ever since, and it was the best decision I ever made next story we used to work together then we became friends when i stopped working with him after a concert we went to a bar and he kissed me i was married so was he we carried on an occasional physical relationship for the better part of a year 
until my marriage started seriously falling apart and I called off the affair so I could make sure that if I left my husband, it wasn't because I was fuzzy due to someone else's interest. I left my husband a year later and haven't rekindled things with my affair partner, nor do I want to. Hmm. Okay, next story. My girlfriend was extremely depressed and I was struggling to cope. I increasingly felt distance from her and became more and more lonely. Another girl started giving me a lot of attention. Naively, I thought we could just be friends. Things escalated and I began to feel trapped and too guilty to tell my girlfriend because I was worried about her depression. In the end, I broke up with her but didn't tell her about the affair until a year later. Before you ask, I obviously regret it. She was a cheater. I was single. I didn't help matters though. She was a regular at the bar I managed, not a typical bar. It was a champagne and cocktail bar in a shopping mall. She would come in once or twice a week with her friend or her husband and flirt openly. He never seemed to mind as he always thought it was harmless and I chatted to him just as much as her when they were together. She added me on Facebook as I was obviously active on the business page and easy to find. I accepted and she sent me sporadic messages when she was heading to the bar, etc which built up to general conversation and a little bit more flirting. One day, she sent a message saying she was in a bar around the corner from where I lived, had just had a drink with friends and asked if she could treat me to late lunch. I accepted, I was hungry. It was never more than sexual. She clearly wasn't being satisfied at home. And so I dated other girls a little during the time and things began to slow down and were running their course between us. I moved away after a few months for work, as it turns out to her hometown, which meant that now she had the perfect excuse to come see me and book a hotel room every so often under the pretense of seeing family, which she did while I was at work. After one or two visits, things just naturally fizzled out thanks to distance, and she continued her sexually unsatisfying, but ultimately more stable marriage, minus me as a sex partner. In a nutshell, was going out with an emotionally abusive guy. Began dating when I was 14, he was 18. I stayed with his brother for about a week, around three years into the relationship. Things began happening suddenly. I resisted at first, but asshole boyfriend kept on sending me threatening messages. So I thought, fuck it all. Okay, things began happening suddenly. I resisted at first, but asshole boyfriend kept on sending me threatening messages so I thought, fuck it. We ended up only making out and sharing a bed together, but I managed to eventually get out of the abusive relationship. No one knows about this. The brother and I later began sending nudes and hooked up a couple times after. Things have faded out now and the guilt and damage kills me. I want to talk to people about it, but because of my religious background, I know the shame would be too much. Fuck my life. Next one. I was in a highly emotional, abusive relationship. My former boyfriend had a mental illness that he used to manipulate me into getting what he wanted. Started getting really close with one of my friends who I ended up confiding in for everything. He would buy me carne asada fries when I cried <laughs> and watch movies with me until I felt better. I ended up telling him I had a crush on him. Broke things off with my ex and we started dating shortly after. I'm now happier and healthier than I've ever been. We will actually be moving in together in a couple of months. Okay, so now I'm gonna read some of the comments down below. So basically, all these are terrible people. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, if you don't love the person, break up. Why would someone cheat? I like how all of these are prefaced with their justifications for cheating, ha ha. True, ha ha ha. Further proof that World of Warcraft should be called World of Wife Swap. Knew a girl who married a guy that everyone but her mother hated. Girl ended up cleaning out his bank account and leaving him for some guy she met on World of Warcraft. Oh, so W-O-W -W is World of Warcraft. Okay, left that guy for some other guy she met on World of Warcraft. Last I heard, she was living with her mother somewhere in Jersey. That said, this list really was awful. Only made it through a few of these excuses cheaters left themselves last comment 30 plus wine 
trying to justify why they're the shittiest people. Basically, that's what it felt like in all these stories. They all had their justifications and their excuses and their reasons why. And the way it's written is like, they wrote it as if, oh, well, it totally makes sense. Like, um, like who wouldn't have cheated? All of their stories are written like they felt like they had a right to cheat they felt like well it just made sense to cheat like that's just the thing to do if you're unhappy or if your relationship situation is fucked up then you know like why wait just cheat now you know i did think it was interesting hearing these stories from the cheaters mind you know and it just goes to show you how cheaters think they justify it that's how they're able to do it for months and years at a time is because they justify it in their mind. They think it's okay. It's not okay, like under any circumstance. Like, As a cheater, no matter how bad the situation is, number one, you can go without, <laughs> I don't know why people feel like they really need to be in love. Like there's a lot of people out there that can't be alone. There's a lot of people out there that are insecure. They can't be alone. They, they're they very needy. They need all these emotional things, you know, that they're not getting from that one person. And it's like, it's not that serious. Like why? Like, can't you be any stronger than that? You know? And then number two, like you should have more respect and dignity for yourself and your partner your spouse the person that you're with you should have more respect and dignity for the both of you to walk away a lot of people are weak sauce and they just can't break up with the person and it's like if you're that unhappy then just do it like just do it and get it over with like don't be a bitch ass about it hey guys so thanks for watching and please feel free to leave some comments down below let me know what you think tell me how you're feeling about these stories on anchor fm you can call in leave me some messages and you can send stories to my email emails in my description i will see you next time i hope you all have a great week bye